Hello everyone, uh, I'm Mark Hanchett, founder and CEO here at Alice Motor Vehicles. And I'm Nico, I'm a hardware engineer. And today we're gonna kind of dive a little bit deeper into a topic we talked a little while ago about, um, which is common hardware architectures within the vehicle. Yep. One of the things that we're doing to one, minimize the number of body control modules or hardware systems in there. So there's typically hundreds of control modules in a vehicle, yep. right? And we're cutting it in half, if not better. Um, and the way we're doing that is actually with our, what with is our, this? With the Omega system. So the Omega system has our automotive ethernet, uh, as well as a full microcontroller in there mm -hmm. to help us kind of uh, use use it in anything really. So uh, motor so controllers, interior lighting, or even exterior lighting. So all body control systems, yeah. the motor controllers are using this. Um, and we've actually, we developed one of these before, right? So this was the first generation of it. Yeah. Um, it had some problems, and of course, every development project has problems, but look at the size difference between this. I mean, this is our first generation solution. Um, this is the, the next generation. We're actually working on another one. We're testing on this one yeah. right now, right? Yep. Yeah. And we're working on the next iteration of this after this, but, uh, what is this system over here actually? So what? this is our dev kit. Uh, so as we as we move to that module, we want to make sure that we can uh, not only use our automotive ethernet to communicate with other modules, okay. uh, but we also want to qualify some chips that we're looking at, at using in the vehicle. So okay. And then automotive ethernet basically is, think of it like your home or office internal network yeah. within the vehicle, right? It's it's a two wire based system versus what is typical is what, five so wire? Five wire, yeah. Okay, um, so it's a two wire based system, but not like CAN, right? We don't yeah. use CAN anywhere in the vehicle. Yeah, for now, yeah. Okay, uh, what do you mean for now? We're never using <laughs> We're CAN never in the vehicle, can. it's like mandated. <laughs> All right. Now, this dev board, we developed that board in house too, yes. right? So yeah. everything here at Atlas Motor Vehicles is, primarily developed in-house. We do have some other development boards from other systems that are over here. I think back here, we've got the first generation of our sense board system. Yes. That's being updated. Um, we're using a potentially different chipset for the cell monitoring, but then the control logic, right, is still- It's still that. It's still chip. this module here. That's our development module. And then from there, this is gonna go into the final version of the motor controller brake controllers, steering control systems, all of which is individual per corner, Yep. right? Um, all of which communicates over that network system. Battery systems, body control systems. The only thing that's really different is the vehicle dynamics controllers I and the infotainment you, systems. Uh, the vehicle dynamics controller will actually have that, and then the infotainment system will be different. Okay, so the infotainment's yeah. different. The VDC, though, is gonna be a version of this as yes. well. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing is, is this chipset is newer yeah. So we're not faced with the challenges of like the chip shortage problems and things like that. Everyone else is chasing older chipsets, yeah. um, whereas we're using a newer chipset that's more, much more readily available. And we did a video on that a few months ago, I think, where we talked about some of that stuff. Yeah, and it's also based off of uh, Cortex-7, which is a newer technology, and it allows us to have a little bit higher uh, clock cycles. So it lets us communicate faster throughout the vehicle. Do a lot more things, do a lot yeah. faster with some of the stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the software platform on this is now a common software architecture in all of those systems. Yep. And then we'll do what security will be common between them. We'll do authentication yeah. and um, so we do have a switch. We, we do have a switch circuit that again will be based off that, but th the switch will have its own security base that we can put into. Yeah, that's right, because it's a automotive Ethernet based system, right? Yeah. It's not like CAN where it's all running parallel, right? Mm -hmm. It is based on as a centralized switch, which I think yeah. is our VDC. Yes, that's in the platform. Platform, correct? Yep. And then um, we'll have another switch system in the vehicle body, right, that does all the body control systems, mm -hmm. and then those are tied together. Yeah. And then uh, then they're tied to our wireless communication, which is a different chipset, of course. Yeah. Um, but that's LTE, Wi-Fi, right, Bluetooth, and everything else. And some of these will actually be uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, correct? Uh, they'll, right. We'll have to use this. We'll use a separate antenna, but uh, the the module itself will probably be the same. Okay, so um, this is Atlas's uh, Omega module, um, and Nico here, as well as a bunch of other guys behind us, they've been working on this for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this is going into 
everything basically yeah. within the vehicle. So we, I mean, most vehicle systems, right? They've got hundreds or a hundred different body control modules. Each one is a different hardware platform. We've got basically one common module that are going into those different ones. We're cutting the number of modules in the vehicle in half, if not better. If, yeah, if not better. Fantastic. All right, so that's the Omega module here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. Lots of innovation coming here um, from a hardware perspective. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, cool.